Good evening, everyone. This is Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It is March 28th, Tuesday, and we are right about finishing our Trader Max Live for this March session. That's not what we're talking about today. We are going to uh, look at what exactly do we mean by get an edge on a trade. First of all, we know with options that there are several strategies. A type of edge on a credit spread may not be the same as an edge on a calendar. For each strategy, you have to construct an edge. What are these gorilla tactics and techniques that we're talking about? So I'm going to address that in this video today. Let's take any stock, okay? It doesn't matter because we're just using an example to see how you would build an edge into a trade. So basically, you come here, come to the options. Let's go out 10 days and say you wanted to construct a, a bull put, uh, I mean, a, a bull call spread. I'm just going to put, you know, take this 285 right now. So you want to buy a vertical, which would be the bull call. Okay, so here it automatically puts the 2.5. Let's just go with a $5 spread. And you're going to pay 1.31. Clearly, the risk graph will tell you that your loss is max loss is one, uh, 1310. And your max profit is going to be the difference between the $5 spread and what you pay. So that's this. This is your typical bull call spread, correct? What can you do to this trade right at the very beginning that will give you an edge on the trade? So what exactly do we mean by an edge? So anything that can either reduce your loss or increase your rewards without incurring negative consequences. Can we agree that that would be an edge? So let me repeat that. Anything that would decrease your exposure or anything that would increase your rewards without it having negative consequences or both if you can, okay? <laughs> or rather, let me put it this way. You know, everything has negative consequences. We know that. The negative consequences are not that bothersome to you. You're okay to accept those negative consequences. So that's what we're going to do here. Some of these edges are very simple. They're very subtle. But once you start making a methodology, once you start putting it into, creating a weapon out of it, put it into your arsenal, and you pull it out every time you, you need it, it becomes very, very powerful. So I'm going to show you an edge right now on this bull call spread that you can put that will significantly improve this trade without it having negative consequences that will bother you. It's a, it's, a man, it's a matter of psychology and mindset. You're taking this trade based upon the premise that Tesla is going to move up some and over this purple line, you're going to take it off somewhere. Correct? That's what a bull call is. If this goes past, then, then what happens here? You're going to get max profit, right? 3,690. Then why can't we put a bear call there? Right here. So we have 285, 290. Let's say at 300, right, you sell a call, a vertical, 305, you get 40 cents back, which means now your risk profile is this. You've gotten $400 back already. Now, first of all, that is a benefit. You're getting 400. And why, why I'm saying you're getting 400? Because for this trade to make a loss, it has to go through your profit first. It has to go through your profit first, okay? So while it's here in this range, you can do whatever you want with it. You want to adjust it. You want to close it. You can do whatever. It, re it still remains a bullish trade. But now you've got 40 back. So now your max loss is what? 910. So you've reduced your loss. Okay, one. Two, you've increased your profit. 4090 now is your max profit because you got an extra 400. So you've managed to accomplish both. Decrease your max loss, increase your max profit. What are the consequences? What are the consequences of this trade? Of this rather, you know, technique? There is one consequence. And that is beyond 300, you're going to give up a little bit of your profit. If you did not have this, this is what your profile is. You're guaranteed that 3,690. By doing this tactic, you're 
reducing your max loss by 400. So your exposure is reduced. Your max profit increases if this outlook plays out. Your max profit increases. And the only negative is beyond 300, you're giving up some of your profit. You're not giving up your principal. Bear in mind, you're giving up some of your profit. Is that an edge or what? That is absolutely an edge in your trades. I'm describing a very simple example of an edge. This kind of an edge, however subtle it might be, is required on every strategy. Now, many option traders may ask, how is this an edge? All you did, Hari, was you took a bull call and then you added a bear call at the very end of it. And how is this an edge? Well, it's an edge for a couple of reasons. If you're just going to put a bull call, then wouldn't you put a bear call at some point beyond it? If you don't do that, why wouldn't you do that? Because you can take a point at 5 delta or 10 delta, whatever you want, depending on how much premium you want to get back, you can always put a bear call there, provided you're, you can accept the consequences. So what are the consequences? It is you're going to lose a little bit of profit beyond that point. And if you put both the spreads together, your entire trade is going to move a little slowly because you, you have positive delta and then you'll have negative delta from the bear call. But you don't have to put it all together. You can wait till, you, till the stock moves a little bit in your direction. That is an edge by itself if you put a bear call after that. So that's all up to you. I mean, you can play around with the strategy. But the point is, if you trade bull calls, then you must accept that this is an edge because why would you trade a bull call alone when you can get this kind of an edge? So I don't trade any bull calls anymore because whenever I want to trade a bull call, I'm going to trade a long condor because it makes so much more sense. It, it could give you a higher profit. Your losses are reduced. Your margins are reduced. Your risk is reduced. The only consequences that you have to accept are the fact that you might lose a little bit of, start losing some of your profit. Again, it's your profit. It's not your principal. Let me make that clear because at the very end of the spread, you're going to lose a bit of your profit. And at some point, you're going to do something about it. You need these kind of edges Whenever you put a trade, you have to try to think of how you can make that trade just a little bit better. Not every trade, you can be successful in creating an edge. At Option Tiger, we have created edges for various strategies and all of them add something to the trade. And that particular thing sometimes can make the difference. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment. If you have any questions, please send us an email, info at optiontiger.com. Thank you.